your front. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson. The flurry is coming. Look for him to use that signature peekaboo style to try to get inside. Has been vulnerable to leg kicks, though, since he transitioned to mixed martial arts. He's worked hard on the takedown defense. We'll see if Tyson can keep this fight upright here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic challenge. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He's able to slip the left. Good punch, Lance. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those the boxer's gonna be able to take. Well, boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's got to use each and every one of them. with a beautiful left hand. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Alden. All right, single collar time now. Frantic pace early on to this one. Ooh, big shot land. Straight right is there. Takedown. Oh, big elbow. Aldo's in half court. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. Beautiful transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Tyson gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the floor. Nice body kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Hook to the head there by Tyson. He's got the single collar tie. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Oh, nice right hand. By the There's the shot. There's another takedown by Alba. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Knee on belly. He's raining down ground and pound. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, gives up on the submission now. So preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. Tyson getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Strong work with the inside leg kick. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Right on the button. Oh, and he found the target again. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch there by Tyson. Quick leg kick. 30 seconds to go now. Another one. Oh, and he lands a 
Another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Right. He's getting the better of you the striking. I want you to cut those angles and get out of his range. We have to change game plans. Plan B. Let's get that clinch game. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, leading with the right hand. You don't see that every day. It was certainly effective for him there. If you're gonna throw your power hand first, you gotta be very aware not to get counted. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, he might be working towards an attritic knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Another one by Tyson. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Short uppercut in the clinch by Aldo. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Aldo's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Great punch from the clinch here. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Another good stick to the head. Just over two minutes to go in the round. There's that body shot. Collar tie here in the clinch. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels too. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the fence. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find it. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, 
Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that was a big one there. 20 seconds to go round two. That kick lands. Oh, big elbow. Chains on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious right, bleeding now. Like Looks like the cut is on the up. nose. Hello. Yes, it is. Look. Cut man will try to get in there well. and shut it, but of That's course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, so that thing could there. reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight right hand, no good. Back and forth we go. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, Phil. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, it works. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those. Aldo's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Now some separation from his clutch position. Aldo's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Nice combination by the champ. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. He passes to half guard. Aldo's got the full mount. He's gotta be careful here. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Tyson. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Aldo's in half guard now. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Closed guard, 
Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Tyson's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Aldo's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. That's big. These guys are going at it. Look to the head there by Tyson. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Aldo's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled, it is cut open. I think oh. gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. He passed the half guard. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, That's God. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that round is in the books. Aldo's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. And we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do we it. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand. Oh, what a connection by him. He's out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. Absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Oh, nice little right hook there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, how is he absorbing these strikes? Massive knees to the head in the clinch. Look at that. Good finish. That was beautiful. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Oh, nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Well, MMA is 
a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice knee landed there by Albert. Oh. oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Big right hand. Man! Right oh, no. Now he's back up. Yeah, he's really bad. Might get the TKO here. Ninety seconds to go. Aldo's in half court. Alright, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Tyson's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call. Big double leg level change. on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Getting the out here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, nice. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion, Iron Mike.